How to book a flight on Expedia. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be walking you through how to use Expedia. But before doing that, here are some fun facts on Expedia and overall booking a flight. So have you ever wondered is it cheaper to book a flight using Expedia compared to going directly to the airline's website? Well, in many cases, Expedia can offer flight tickets cheaper than the airlines because third-party services often get a bulk discount. They can sell their flight deals for less than the average ticket prices. And you can also see when is the cheapest days to book a flight. So it all depends whether you're flying domestically or internationally. If it is domestically, well, the cheapest days would be Tuesdays and Wednesdays. If you are going international, it would be Wednesdays and Thursdays. And you can also see other fun facts right here. So let's go on to Expedia.com. Once on Expedia.com, I would recommend that you sign in or you sign up. So I'm going to quickly tap on sign up in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on sign up, you will be redirected to this page and you can sign in using Google. So let me do that real quick. You have to do from the top dashboard right here. Let me close out of this. Right where you see flights, you're going to tap right there. After tapping on flights, you can select whether it is a round trip, one way or multi-city. And then right where you see leaving from, you're going to tap right there. And you are going to enter the airport that you would like to leave from. So let's say, for example, I want to leave from Kingston, Norman Manley. Then you are going to tap going to and you are going to type in your destination. So let's say I want to go to Florida. So I'll type in Florida right here. Then I'm going to go Miami. After doing that, right where you see departing, you are going to tap right there. And you are going to select the date that you are departing. After selecting the date, you can also select your return date. And after doing that, you're going to tap on done. After doing that, right where you see one traveler, you can tap right there. So if you are traveling with a partner, you can tap on plus and you can add your partner right there. If you are traveling with children between the ages of 2 to 17, you will tap on plus right here. If you are traveling with an infant which is younger than two years old, you'll tap on plus right there. And you can also choose whether you want to fly economy, premium economy, business class or first class. After you're finished with your selection, you're going to tap on search. Once you have tapped on search, you're going to give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, Expedia combs the internet. So just give it a few seconds. As you can see, they are searching over 400 different flights to show you the cheapest ones. Once they have loaded up, you can go over to the left hand menu option. And if you would like to select a non-stop flight, you can tap right there and you'll see three non-stop flights. If you don't mind having a layover, you can tap right where you see stop. And if you have a specific airline in mind, you can select from any one of these airlines. And you can also see travel and baggage. You can select that if you want. Then you can scroll down and you can see even more information. But let's say, for example, I want to use this one right here on America Airline. All I would have to do is tap on it. After I've tapped on it, you can see more information. So I can choose basic economy where I'll be in the cabin as you can see right here or you can go into the main cabin as you can see right here but that would cost an extra $40 and you can scroll across and you can see different plans. All you will need to do now is tap on select. After you have tapped on select you will be redirected to a new page. From here you will see more information, you will see the flight and you will also see the taxes and fee right here. And you can scroll down and you can read more. And if you would like to upgrade, you can tap on see upgrade options right there. And you can scroll down and you can read more and you can also choose your seats by tapping on choose your seats right here. 
and you'll be able to choose where you'll be located on the plane. So you can choose your seat right here as you can see. So for an additional $13, I could be in this section right here. So it all depends where you would like to be seated. So you can select that right there. Also, if you would like to book a car with your flight, all you'll need to do is scroll down and right where you see book a car. From there, you could book a rental vehicle. So all you'll need to do is tap on add to trip and you will be able to book a rental vehicle also. But let's scroll back up. Once it is there liking, you can see that they offer free cancellation. There's no fee to cancel within 24 hours of booking. Then you're going to tap on check out. After tapping on check out, you'll be redirected to a new page on which you'll be prompt to enter your information. So first you're going to enter your first name, then you'll enter your middle name, last name, and you are going to fill out the regular information, for example, your phone number, your passport information, and also your country, and gender, and date of birth. After you have done all of that, all you'll need to do now is scroll down, and then from there, you can fill in your credit card information. Once you have filled in your credit card information, all you will need to do is scroll down and then tap on Complete Booking. And after you have tapped on complete booking, you will now receive your ticket information and that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.